Okay, I would have had this video out earlier, but Google Drive decided to be a jerk and not really upload my unboxing clips. So I'm sorry this is a bit late, but I'm just gonna go through this video smoothly. Hopefully I can get this out pretty soon. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, so Hueyon actually emailed me and asked me to review a tablet for you guys. In this video, I'll be going over unboxing along with the speed paint and pretty much just share my thoughts and opinions on the tablet during that speed paint. And yeah, this is gonna be a fun little video. So let's get started. This tablet is the Hueyon 420 and I actually really like this tablet, but I'm gonna save my opinions for the speed paint. So this tablet, you can use it for signing online documents, you can use it for drawing, writing in general, along with graphic design, you can even use it for osu, or os, however you want to say it, and, or just draw something, that, that game that people play. But I don't, because I don't have any friends. So before I talk about my opinions on the tablet, here's an unboxing, yay! Hey! Okay, so, <laughs> this is another review. Um, I got sent this tablet from Hueyon, and if you've seen my videos before, you would know that my old tablet was a Hueyon, so I kind of already know what to expect. Also because I already opened this, <laughs> I couldn't wait. As soon as I got in the mail, I got excited and I opened it. Just open this. There we go. Woo! Okay. So once you open this, you see a thank you note from Hueyon. And then you open it and it's their contact information. Thank you for choosing this little, little lion thing. If this will focus. Sorry, my camera is still broken. And then you know, contact scan thing, and it's a it's a cute card, and then you have the tablet itself, which I'll get to in a second. But you have the pin, and I've noticed that this pin has a different end than what I'm normally used to. I never really had a tablet pin with this weird. Actually, let me let me let me open this. Let me open this. Wow, it's open with magic. Who who would have guessed? Okay, so this is like a. Oh. Is this a clicker? What? I mean, I know, I know what these buttons do. What? Whoa, I guess I have to figure out what this is. I've never had a pen with this in before. Also, I'm guessing because there's no hole right here, um, that means I don't have to charge it. With my um, with my last Humion pen, I had to charge it, and I'm guessing with this one I don't, which is a mega plus with me. Because I hate charging things. And then right here, we got, this is like a bag of like little nibs. I don't know what this metal ring is for. I think it's to extend the pin. I, I don't know. I, I didn't use the, <laughs> I didn't use the metal ring whenever I had my old one. But I did use these nibs quite often because I have no self-control and I draw a lot. So I need more nibs. Ugh, I hate doing this with one hand. Okay, so underneath that black plastic thing, you have the cord for the tablet, and it's just like a regular cord. It's nice. And it's all wrapped up in this little bendy thing. I, I can't review cords, man. <laughs> I mean, it's just a regular cord. It looks like it's really long, too. That's what I really liked about my last Sumion tablet. The cord was really long, so I didn't have to worry about it putting it too close to my laptop. With my current tablet, the cord is really short. As you can see, so this is this is also a mega plus for me. And then you have the installation CD, and then it's the manual, which I I do read it, but I already had a Huion tablet, so I think I pretty much get the gist of this. But then again, so this is a very <laughs> a very different tablet than what I had before. I probably I probably should read it. Okay, so here is the actual tablet itself. It's so tiny and so cute. I love it. So precious. Okay, so. It's pretty, it's <laughs> really tiny and small. I could pick it up in my hand. And I can't wait to use this for, for things. I'm really excited for this speed paint. Okay, so now that I've gone through what the tablet is and the unboxing, let's just enjoy this speed paint featuring some Miku fan art that I actually drew with the tablet that I am reviewing, just so you can kind of get an idea of what it's really capable of. So as you can see during the unboxing, the package was really nice and it looked perfect whenever it came in the mail. 
and I was really excited whenever I got it. The tablet was a bit smaller than I expected, but I, that doesn't really matter because it worked amazingly, and I was very surprised with how well it worked. Because whenever I first started drawing, I got those off-brand small tablets, and they did not draw well at all. So this is the first time where a smaller tablet did amazing. It was so amazing, and I absolutely enjoy drawing with it. I was fairly surprised that throughout the entire time drawing, I thought I was going to struggle a bit because usually getting used to different tablets takes weeks for me to do. But I pretty much got used to this tablet within, I want to say, 20 minutes of using it because it was nice and small. I didn't have to worry about all of these buttons and what they do. So it, w it was very nice. I'm a very minimalistic person. So bigger tablets with like 8,000 buttons scare me. <laughs> but with that being said, it is obvious to me that this tablet was made, you know, for Osu or just smaller artists that are just beginning or just artists that are on the go. It is a smaller tablet, so of course it's more convenient to take with you on trips or if you're just in the car with your smaller laptop and you want to draw. I'm not really into that kind of lifestyle now. I now have to work with bigger tablets, so kind of going back to that kind of gave me a little nostalgic feeling of drawing on the computer for the first time with the tablet. So like I said before, even though it's very small and minimalistic, I really enjoyed it. And I know that whoever gets this tablet will enjoy it as much as I did, and if not more. I'm not really a person to complain or find any issues, so I really didn't have any issues with this tablet. Although whenever I got the tablet, I, I never really worked with a pen that had a clicker to turn the pen on and off. So whenever I tried drawing with the tablet at first, I couldn't get it, I couldn't get the pen working and I panicked because I, I thought it was broken or I was just being stupid, but I realized that the pen took batteries, which is something entirely new to me and it didn't have a battery in it. So I had to go buy some AAA batteries <laughs> and that was a minor setback, but not really enough for me to really get flustered and angry about I just wish that it, it would have come with a little, a, just a little battery to use just to kind of get me started. But, I mean, that's a really minor complaint. It's not really that big of a deal. That's just me being whiny. I, I'm trying not to repeat myself because I really do love this tablet. I've already talked about why I loved it. I just, uh, it's, it's just been such a long time since a small tablet was, has such good quality. I envy newer artists that are coming into digital now because whenever I first started smaller cheaper tablets did not have this good a quality so it is amazing both how the the tablet is so cheap but it works like a professional bigger tablet and just how far drawing technology has come over the past few years so if you're if you're starting out in art and you're buying this tablet I envy you. I wish I had this whenever I first started out. I did, like I said before, I only had that off-brand tiny tablet that my guinea pig chewed up the cord for. Oh, this is a this is a tablet review. We're not talking about my poor decisions around pets. So if you're looking for a smaller tablet for on-the-go use, or if you're a newer artist starting out and you're wanting to save up for a tablet or ask for one for Christmas or your birthday, I highly recommend this tablet. I cannot recommend this tablet enough. Now, whenever I have a younger artist come into my streams or ask in the comments what tablet to use whenever they first get started, I am 100% going to recommend this one. And I'm not just saying that because Huey on sent me this. This is 100% my own opinion. I really like this tablet and I really wish I got it instead of the one that I have now. Although I do love the tablet I have now, but I really like this tablet. So if you're watching this and you're looking for a tablet, Show this to someone who is willing to get you one, because I cannot recommend this enough. And if you do like this art that I drew with the tablet, now you, you know what this tablet is capable of. Th this tiny tablet can, can sure pack a punch. It, it, do it does work well with these programs, and I, I am in love with it. <laughs> I really like this tablet. So I'm just going to stop rambling. That is my review. I will see you later. Again, thank you, Huion, for sending me this tablet. I absolutely love it. And I'll be back next week with a big announcement. And yeah, bye!